Hi and welcome back to Nurturing Moms. My name is Shiro. In this video, I want us to talk about something so special and it's called liquid gold. That's what we're going to talk about. So this liquid gold is called colostrum and colostrum is the first milk a mother will produce once she starts lactating after she's given birth. Once you start lactating the first two days, you will produce colostrum for up to three days, okay? It first starts with the clear milk. So if you squeeze your breast, okay, you squeeze your nipple and your areola area and you squeeze your nipple, there will be like droplets of this clear, almost like clear milk. And then a few hours later, it starts to change into yellow. That's what I call the yellow gold or liquid gold. That's colostrum. It is so important for your baby. It has lots of immunity, lots of antibodies to protect them. It's like their first vaccine. That is crucial for your baby to have to protect them from being outside in this new world, outside the womb. There's so many different things that they're gonna be fighting different bugs. So that, having the baby get that initially for the first three days that it's produced is crucial for your baby's health. So put your baby on the breast, Every time, even if you're putting the baby on the breast and you feel there's nothing coming out, it's dry, guess what? The more you put them on, the more the body gets to get the message that, okay, there's a baby on the breast, we need to produce milk. Sometimes it may take longer for a mom who has gone through a cesarean section as compared to a mom who's just had a vaginal delivery. Because for a CS, especially if it was elective, whereby you chose a date or your doctor chose a date for you because of some health conditions or health issue or position of your baby, and you told this, date you're going for CS. So before the, by the time the baby, the body adjusts and says, oh, okay, baby's out, then they start making milk, it may take a couple of, uh, maybe a day or two extra, okay? So expect maybe the third day. But if you've had a vaginal delivery, those contractions that you're having are producing a hormone called oxytocin. That's the same hormone that you produce when you're breastfeeding. So your body starts to make milk a little early. And guess what? I know some of you already in your 20 something week have started, when you squeeze your breast, you see a bit of milk. That's the start of your milk. So we produce and start uh, producing milk very early. So colostrum is very important. I want to show you the size of your baby's stomach at birth and on the second day. The size of your baby's stomach is this. Only five to seven ml is needed per feed to fill the stomach. So this perception that some of us have that you need a full 120 ml for this baby who's just been born maybe a few hours ago because uh, this little milk that is coming out from here is too little. Imagine that's all your baby needs. That 5 to 7 ml to fill the stomach per feed. Not in 24 hours but per feed. So if they're feeding every 5 to 8, 10 times in 24 hours, they'll need 5 to 7 ml feed I hope that's clear and colostrum I want you to remember is so important it is liquid gold yellow gold for your baby so please put them on the breast as often as I'd like get the, uh, the latch right and feed your babies the colostrum that will help boost their immunity give them good um, bacteria into their system prevent them from getting ill too early sure is here to support you to educate you and to empower you and if you have any challenge when it comes to breastfeeding that you need somebody to come and support you in your home or wherever you may be or even to do a class before I always encourage moms try to do a lactation class before you're more relaxed you're calm you're willing to learn and and you're not so anxious and overwhelmed that oh my gosh I've got to get this right now otherwise we're not gonna sleep in the night but before your baby comes you're, you're pregnant you're calmer and you get to learn how to position yourself your breast and all the things that pertain to breastfeeding nurturing moms is here to support you to educate you and to empower you thank you for watching and please subscribe if you haven't